This is Chinese Pod. I'm John. Hi, guys. I'm Dilu. And、uh, we've got a great lesson for you to help you help yourself to learn Chinese. To use Chinese to learn Chinese. Right. So the key question we're going to hear right away is how do you say something? Right. And you can use that whenever you want to ask how do you say things in Chinese. In Chinese or in English, whatever. So the key phrase is. 怎么说？怎么说？ Okay, so this is two words, one meaning how and one meaning say. Hmm. So the one that means how is 怎么怎么 Okay, third tone which goes low and then 么 is neutral, right? That's right. 怎么怎么 Okay, how 怎么 and then to say 说说 S H U O first tone. Okay, so first tone is high. Shuo means to say, right? Exactly. And how do you say is? 怎么说？怎么说 ？All right, so you're definitely going to hear that phrase several times as we listen to the dialogue three times. Dialogue first time. 老师。这个中文怎么说？书。那个中文怎么说？笔。笔。对。Second time。老师，这个中文怎么说？书。那个中文怎么说？笔。笔。对。Third time. 老师，这个中文怎么说？书。那个中文怎么说？笔。笔。对。And now the translation. 老师，这个中文怎么说？ Teacher, how do you say this in Chinese? 老师，这个中文怎么说 ？Teacher, how do you say this in Chinese? 老师，这个中文怎么说？书 ，book。书 ，book。书，那个中文怎么说 ？How do you say that in Chinese? 那个中文怎么说 ？How do you say that in Chinese? 那个中文怎么说？笔 ，pen， 笔 ，pen， 笔，笔 ，pen， 笔 ，pen， 笔，对 ，correct， 对 ，that's right， 对。All right. So in this dialogue, when we use the words for this and that, you have to imagine that they're like holding something or pointing to something, right? They're not talking about the actual words. This, this and that. that, right? Right. That's why we get book and pen. So use your imagination a little bit there. All right. Let's look at the first sentence. 老师，这个中文怎么说？老师，这个中文怎么说？ All right. Now we're gonna have to pay attention a bit to word order here. So we start off with addressing someone, right? 老师，老师 That's the teacher, and the tones are third and first. 老师，老师 Okay, teacher. So in Chinese, it's totally normal to call the teacher teacher. You don't have to use their name. You just call them 老师 right? That's right. It's very common. Okay, and then the next part of the sentence is、uh, not how do you say, but it's first identifying an object that you want to talk about, right? 这个，这个 Right. So here you can imagine them pointing to something or holding it up and saying this. So the word for this in Chinese is 这个，这个 All right. Fourth tone and neutral, right? That's right. Okay, so teacher, this, and then the next word, 
Chong Wen. Chong Wen. First tone, second tone. This means Chinese, like Chinese language. You're right. A lot of students of Chinese Pod tell us while they love to speak and listen to Mandarin, they are a bit intimidated to learn how to read and write in it because of the complexity of Chinese characters. That's why we created the 66 characters series. Try it and see for yourself. Chong Wen. Chong Wen. All right, so so far we've got teacher, this, Chinese. So this word Chinese, it doesn't mean this Chinese, it means in Chinese.、Mm. All right, and the last phrase is. All right, remember, that zan goes low, and shuo is first tone, flat and high. That's right. So we have teacher, this, in Chinese, how do you say? 老师，这个中文怎么说？老师，这个中文怎么说 ？Okay, and the answer. 书，书 first tone S H U. S H U first tone 书 All right, so that's high and flat. That's how we say book in Chinese. Right, 书，书 Okay, so we know the guy is either holding or pointing to a book when he asks. 老师，这个中文怎么说 ？Okay, and the answer is 书 All right, but he has more questions, doesn't he? Yes, he's pointing at something else. So this time he says, 那个中文怎么说？那个中文怎么说 ？So the new word here is 那个那个 instead of 这个。Okay, so naga,、uh, fourth tone and neutral. Fourth tone is falling. It means that, right? You're right. Naga, naga. Okay, this again is. Zhega, zhega. And that. Naga, naga. Okay, so that in Chinese, how do you say? Naga, Chinese, 怎么说？那个中文怎么说？ How do you say that in Chinese? And what is it? It is a pen. B, B. Okay, B I third tone. That's the low tone. B, B. Okay, pen is B. So then the、uh, the student repeats it correctly, and the teacher says, 对，对。Okay, 对 is spelled D U I fourth tone. 对。That creates kind of an unfortunate mnemonic in English, but、uh, D U I fourth tone means correct in Chinese.、Mm. And the Chinese teachers love to use that word a lot. 对对 Okay, we're gonna listen to the dialogue three more times and help these、uh, patterns start to take root in your mind. Okay. Dialogue first time. 老师。这个中文怎么说？书，那个中文怎么说？笔，笔，对。Second time， 老师，这个中文怎么说？书，那个中文怎么说？笔，笔，对。Third time. 老师，这个中文怎么说？书，那个中文怎么说？笔，笔，对。So, Dilu, I think probably the most useful sentence in this dialogue is in the first sentence. 对。<laughs> And it's something you can use on anyone, not just your teacher, right? So, what's the sentence? This Chinese how to say? This Chinese how to say? So, this in Chinese, how do you say? What is this called in Chinese, right? Right. And、uh, if you can just kind of get over a little bit of shyness and self consciousness, you can actually ask people all around you if you're visiting China what this is in Chinese, and people will just tell you. It's like free translators everywhere you go. I used to ask people on the bus, you know.、Mm, what did you ask? 
on a bus? I would ask him like, uh, like I would see someone on the bus uh, holding a pineapple, and I just <laughs> ask him, oh, how do you say that in Chinese, right? And they they just answer your question directly, not like staring at you like they've seen someone who's crazy. Yeah, because、uh, coming from an English speaking country, you're used to like everyone speaking English,、uh-huh. and it's just kind of a given. But in China, people are are still very charmed when foreigners are learning their language, so they're happy to help you.、Mm, that's true. So you should go around asking everyone, like learning all the time. You want to keep asking them. This Chinese how to say or that Chinese how to say. Yeah, it's super useful. So learn that early on, and then use it to help you keep your own learning going. Yes, use that sentence to learn Chinese. And if you have any questions, you can always come to ChinesePod.com. Okay, that's all for today. We'll see you next time. 再见,再见 As usual, ChinesePod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number two zero two zero. So just go to www.chinesepod.com/slash two zero two zero, and you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again: www.chinesepod.com/slash two zero two zero.